Hi, everyone. Those are fireworks. Uh, what a lovely way to start the, the weapon. My God. Okay, so I'm just going to let that pass before I start. Um, I'm a little bit early in any case. Okay, so hi. Hello, Azra and Emma. Let's see who else is here. Hi, Shilpa. Uh, hello, we have another Emma. Hi, hi. <laughs> uh, who else is here? We have, hello. Okay, so. Uh, we're all a little bit early, um, which gives you guys the chance if you have, hi Gina, if you have any questions before we start, um, you can ask us, we'll just wait a few minutes just to be fair to everybody <laughs> who's wanted to join. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for taking the time to join us today. Um, we have with us the lovely Emma. I think a lot of you know who Emma is. She's our master trainer and um, she was teaching the facial acupressure module in level one and she will continue to teach it. And she will also be part of level two. I won't be discussing level two too much today, just a little bit in the end because I think most of you are level one level <laughs> teachers so i'm gonna stick with that um and then we have the uh, amazing gina so gina is one of the teachers from our march training so she recently got certified so she can give you her direct feedback about it as well hi kathy so kathy's here too um kathy is also one of our teachers i don't know if she's going to be able to speak today because She's with her daughter, but we'll we'll just play it by ear and see um, see how it goes. But yeah, so lots of teachers here from March, um, and a lot of really lovely ladies that I think I've actually spoken to most of you before, which is nice. So good to good to see you all. Um, so just like a brief little introduction about me, since I will be speaking. Uh, my name is Dora, and I'm the founder of FitFace, um, and I am also the master trainer, so I develop most of the programs and the exercises um, along with Emma, and um, that's just a few of my hats. I, I do a lot of other things as well, like uh, creating tools and kits and uh, dealing with retailers and, and yeah, Lots of lots of hats I wear, um, but today we're going to like the aim of this webinar is really to get you guys to figure out whether or not this training is for you, what you're going to get out of the training. So sort of like the content that you can expect to see. Um, I'm also going to be showing you a sneak peek of the actual manuals so you guys understand what they look like um, and it can give you a bit of a visual as well in terms of your expectations um what else are we going to be so obviously you're going to be hearing from our lovely teachers um and yeah so if please do stick around till the end so that you can um understand all the early bird stuff and the first three ladies who sign up today they will actually get a one-on-one -on -one business training with me after, which is pretty cool. And um, it will really help structure your business and help you stand out. So I will also share some insights and trends that are happening in the face yoga world at the moment. Um, so things that will be really helpful for you to understand um, where, where this industry is going and, and what's going on with it right now. So I'm gonna let Emma, take over now. So she's going to be sharing her journey and her experience over the last couple of years. Um, and then we'll have Gina after. So Emma, um, let me ask you to unmute. Oh, sorry. I asked Shilpa. My bad. Hold on. Emma, are you getting uh, the... Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? 
Yes. Can yeah. everyone Hi, see Hi, so nice to see you all. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think the best place to start really. <laughs> it's a bit difficult, but I think probably just a little bit of background. Um, so my background is actually in dance, yoga. So kind of movement therapy is where my background lies. Um, and during my time as a teacher, I find that I've, well, I found that my clients or students, um, the ones that kept showing up and wanting to work with me, they all tended to be women. Um, so naturally, being a woman myself, I got really interested in women's health. Um, and I noticed a real strong pattern between them. So it could be kind of working with young females, young adults, all the way up to kind of women that are retired. And the same pattern kept coming up of these women weren't feeling, didn't love themselves or they were lacking a lot of self-worth and yeah, just not feeling very happy in their skin. Um, and I always really believe that whatever teacher or whatever students come to you are often is what you need to work on yourself as well. Um, so this really resonated with me. Um, also, you know, in the past and still now often struggling with, you know, body image and things like that. Um, so I try to work with my clients and students through movement and meditation, working on self-love and all that kind of thing, um, which was amazing. But then I've discovered... Um, the fit face and face yoga so I went along to a workshop um just out of interest really and it was more for it was more for me for sort of like a personal bit of a self-care session and I just literally I just fell in love with it and just came out feeling amazing um, and just loved the whole idea of natural holistic beauty and this this concept of feeling beautiful in your skin at every age it's just it just felt really something really special and I couldn't wait to share it with my clients and whoever kind of came my way really um and that's when I I trained with Dora um so trained in face yoga trained with the fit face um also went on to train in facial massage as well um and started working alongside Dora and um yeah the rest is history really so from doing one-to-ones to small groups to um some amazing events with Chanel and L'Occitane it's been a real journey um and yeah, now I'm teaching on the level one and level two. Um, so I, I love all, all elements of face yoga, but I think probably for me, my probably my passion or what I was most drawn to was the acupressure. Um, that just I just loved the whole um, the whole power of the healing of acupressure. So I went on to train as a facial reflexologist as well. Um, so that's where I come in on the level one. I'll be teaching the acupressure method. So teaching you what acupressure is, how we can incorporate it into our face yoga um, sequencing and um, yeah, and the fit face approach to acupressure. Um, and that's, yeah, that's where we're at, at the moment. So for me, it was, it was amazing career wise um, and for my students and clients, um, but also personally, I feel like it's really changed my my outlook on how I treat myself, how I speak to myself, um, how I how I treat my beauty regime, everything like that. So it's kind of like a life lifestyle for me now. Um, yeah, I can't live without it, really. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's kind of my story. Um, so if anyone's got any questions, do let me know. And if something pops up later. Um, and you want to ask, then please do let me know. But I hope to share more with you um, if you do choose to take this journey into face yoga. So I think I'll pass you back to Dora. Okay, thank you so much, Emma, for taking the time and, and sharing. So um, Emma's going to Cyprus tomorrow, so we're gonna wish her a lovely time. Um, but yeah, if you do have any questions for Emma that come up later, I can always send it to her by email and get back to you. So um, now we're going to have the lovely Gina. So she's somebody who's sort of really fresh, <laughs> you know, with all the techniques. She's just done her training in March. Um, and she's also a wonderful yoga teacher. She has beautiful energy. It just really... Um, I really loved her and I loved her, you know, approach to others, very positive, really sweet. So um, yeah, you're gonna hear from her. Uh, she was one of the first kind of group teachers, uh, sorry, 
virtual group class uh, <laughs> certified teachers. So it would be really nice to hear what she has to say about her experience um, and what she's done with it. I mean, she's only had like a month, but <laughs> let's see what she says. Okay, so I'm gonna unmute Gina. Hi. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining and giving me the opportunity to uh, share with you. And Kathy, good to see you. And Emma, great to meet you in person. <laughs> um, so I joined Fit Face because Dora came up on my Instagram feed and I felt connected to her because she had a toddler. We seem like we're kind of in the same space and I thought it was amazing what these exercises and self-care were doing, um, especially with her before and afters. I mean, it's, it's amazing. And for me, it doesn't just, it's not just about the physical um, byproduct of the practice. It's the routine that it creates. Like Emma was saying, um, just like if you have a Hatha yoga routine, um, this, during a time of upheaval within global pandemic, having that routine has helped even in this past few months that I've been doing it every day. Um, I was drawn to it because I looked at a picture from February of last year before the US shut down. And then I looked at a picture of <laughs> this February and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like, I just wore that um, sadness, you know, on my face and having two younger children to try to be a solid person for during a time um, like this, you know, I, I, I wore that on my face and uh, I wanted a brighter face, but also to have more confidence. I mean, I work with people every day and I like to lead by example. I didn't want to be someone that was a buzzkill and brought people down, you know, um, but with, uh, the transformation that fit phase has, has blessed me with is lightening up again, that resting face and being aware of it. And it's as a yoga practitioner, it's really helped me connect to the upper chakras and, um, it's, it's helped in my meditation practice also, to be quite honest. It, again, it just transcends the physical routine of, of everything. And um, it's helped my yoga practice as a guide as well, because it's something else, just like Emma, um, I have a, uh, a focused student base and it didn't, I didn't look for them. It's always women, usually middle age, maybe late twenties, if anything, like the youngest, you know, I don't have young, young women. And um, they're looking for ways to brighten their, their, their lives really, not just their face, but it's another thing that I can offer that's linked to what I already know. So that's, that's what's good too. It, it, um, it uh, you know, it accentuates what I can offer. And I love the structure as a mom with my oldest son's six and my youngest son's three. And I love the flexibility of the whole program, to be honest. It was great to know that I could watch the few hour modules whenever I could before my kids woke up or when they were napping. And, uh, the, you know, the content was very clear. Uh, visually I knew where to look on the pamphlets I could see everything that I needed um instructor wise everything was they were clear and very grounded I felt great when I would listen to the modules or be there in person and I left the modules not exhausted but feeling um energized but in a in a balanced way so it was really really great for me and I definitely of course recommend the training to any aspiring face yogi or someone who wants to be a teacher because with that practice you feel confident teaching others and yeah so i'm doing the level two soon and it's really to just deepen my understanding of it so i can practice it better on myself and then communicate it better to students that i serve so thank you <laughs> 
Thank you, Gina. Thank you so much for that. That was really kind of you. Um, I also was really, just to add to what she was saying, I was really happy with like the support that I saw amongst the teachers, like even after the training, um, I would see that they were like liking each other's pages and commenting and like staying in touch. So I thought that was also like, it made me happy because I know that there's a lot of, there can be a lot of cattiness between women. And I just felt like we didn't have like any of that <laughs> at all in, in the, in the training. So Thank you so much for taking the time really um, to, to say that. And she was not bribed. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, this is, she just, she just said, yes, I'll do it. So no bribing was involved. So just to make that clear. Um, thank you, Gina. Thank you very much. Um, Kathy, do you want to say a few words or do you just want to? Sure. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hi. I feel like I was just in these in these shoes, like coming to this webinar like four months ago. So my <laughs> life is just like fast forwarded four months. But um, <laughs> Gina, good to see you as well. I'm Adora, obviously. Um, gosh, I discovered face yoga traveling in Tokyo. I was walking down the street and I found a gua sha, and I was like, "Oh, this looks really interesting." Um, and I was I saw a friend that was living in Tokyo at the time. And she was like, "This is actually really popular. Like, this is." you know, facial massage is like something you do regularly. It's like something you learn from your grandmother in Japan, um, pass down the generations, like they work out their face. Um, they believe that movement is important to the face. It's, a, it's just a cultural thing in that part of the world. So that got me super, super intrigued because I'm always trying to, I love different cultures and I love incorporating different things that I learned into my life. So um, I was actually in the corporate world for a long time. And while I was traveling, I had already left and was starting what like started a family and had become a yoga teacher. And so um, at the same time, I came back and just started noticing all my students. And of course I started paying attention to their faces. And I, I did a meditation retreat. I just noticed I was like frowning the whole meditation retreat. Um, like finally took the time to just like notice something about myself. Like, slow down my life um like oh my gosh how many people are meditating and frowning at the same time um I started noticing my students um and like calling it out in my classes and relax your face and all these different cues so that was like a big aha moment for me where I was like I need to focus on this part of me like I'd always been more into yoga and kind of focused on the body but not enough on my face and I turned 35 so I was like okay I need to I need to get the attention and wherever you bring your attention, that's what grows in your life. And I really believe in that. So all those factors combined um, led me to the training, um, which was excellent. Um, I loved hearing from different perspectives. Um, Zora's bringing in a lot of different people and experts, which I think is really nice. Um, she's also just a really thoughtful person and, um, we had a lot of great written content. We did a cool case study. Um, you know, the teachers are connected. We like each other's, you know, stuff on Instagram. Like, it's kind of like, you know, you're just out in the world, like trying to build this, right? But we have the support network. And the cool thing is it's so global. Like we're all in different parts of the globe, um, but we're all doing the same thing. And, and I think face yoga is unique, um, particularly when I see it compared to yoga. So a lot of my yogis, I have a little yoga community. I'm in Chicago, but they're like, what's face yoga? So interested. Like I did a workshop and immediately everyone was interested because it's a little different. And that's, I think what I like the most about it, that it's a little more um, new and unique, um, especially versus being a yoga teacher, which is a little bit more common. So I think it's a good differentiating resource to bring into your business. Um, and yeah, what else was I going to say? I had a note. Um, Oh, I, I, I really liked in, in, the, in the class we talked about um, like how face yoga should be like a part of your daily workout. I really took that to heart. I think that you really need to work out your face just like you work out your body. So now my yoga class used to be an hour in the morning. I teach a half an hour yoga and then 25 minutes of face yoga and the last five minutes of meditation. Um, and I teach that every day at seven o'clock in the morning. And I've had a few clients that that model has resonated with them. So it's been a nice, just like, again, differentiator. Um, and has done a lot for me as well. Um, getting to, you know, 
kind of work out literally head to toe um, every morning. I think it's been really good for me and um, yeah, just love it all. So can't say enough good things about, about the training. Thank you so much, Kathy. Uh, do you guys have any questions for any of the teachers? Um, just so we can... Shall can we just you? quickly pop in, <laughs> pop back in? Just Kathy, just chatting then, it just made me kind of just think that's a really good point as well, because I think you start off thinking you want to learn face, like you learn face yoga and you're perhaps just thinking, I'm going to learn some exercises and fill it, you know, improve my tone of my face. But actually you... There's so much more to it, isn't there? You start to look at faces and you start to read faces and and I think you start to realize actually what's going on inside the body really reflects on your skin and on your face. So I think you often start maybe thinking, oh, I'll learn some exercises for toning, but actually it's it's such a deeper journey than that. Um, so yeah, I think Kathy just saying it then just really reminded me of that actually, where I started and then where, where you kind of, where I'm at at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't think we even like realize how much it has like mentally helped a lot, you know, yeah. and foremost ourselves, but then also like our clients and just so many people because it just really gives you that sense of like peace and like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna age, I might as well do it my way and not be too concerned about what everybody else is doing. So like mm -hmm. you're literally giving people power to kind of be like, okay, this is in my hands. Nobody's going to dictate how I'm going to age or uh, what I'm going to put on my face. And if I have some issues, like I can so solve 80% of them with these techniques. <laughs> so it's very, very empowering. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I love that about it as well. Um, okay, so thank you to all of our teachers. I really appreciate you guys. Um, taking the time and being here today and sharing your stories. Um, I'm just gonna share really quickly my story, which is a little bit ugly. Uh, some of it is a little bit ugly, but eventually it led to the right path. So in uh, 2014, I did my training. Again, I did it just for myself. And I did it with a lovely lady called Annalise Hagen. I think some of you may know, know her. Um, and a couple of months after that, I had something called facial cellulitis, which is basically, it's a very rare infection of facial tissue. So basically what happened is I had a cyst which burst, all right? And then that cyst kind of infected most of the left side of my face. Um, and this can be pretty this can like actually kill you because it can lead to like blood poisoning and and things like that so um i actually had to have a very invasive surgery on this side so my gums were cut from the inside from here to here and i actually had a bit of bone and tissue and i had a tooth removed and it was just really traumatic so you can imagine having stitches on the inside of your mouth I had to be on a bunch of steroids. My face was just, well, I'll show you um, the before. So this picture <laughs> that I'm gonna share right now. So this is, I think a couple of months after that surgery. Um, and I'll just show you how pretty that looked. <laughs> okay, so let me know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Everyone can see. So this was 2014, 2015. You could see like, there's just so much buffiness in the face. There's quite a bit of sadness in the eyes, a lot of trauma. Um, and all that whole situation really gave me a chance to put the face yoga methods to the test. So I literally took a couple of months and I completely stopped working because I couldn't really do anything. And I just started trying to rejuvenate my face naturally. Um, I was not, I was 25 or 26 at the time. My face reacted really quickly. Like I was really shocked by how quickly uh, the, it, it started to look more balanced um, with the massages, like a lot of the lymphatic 
fluids which were stuck from the actual surgery ended up just you know draining out but like more importantly I just felt so much better about myself like it was kind of having that 15 to 20 minutes a day in front of the mirror looking at myself and saying even though I've been through this hard time even though I'm in the worst place of my life in every single way which was actually true like I was in all the wrong relationships uh friends and and boyfriend like everything was wrong I had problems with family I had uh, work wasn't going well you know everything was just wrong I'm not saying like face yoga is going to solve all your problems but it really helped me to kind of say okay let's deal with this so after that I was just blown away and I'm like okay people need to know about this obviously in 2014 um when I started talking about it they were kind of like um are you making this up um did you like invent this like what on earth is it nobody knew in 2014 what it was about um and then I kind of really had to hustle to be honest like I really had to use all my contacts thank god I was in PR before so I had some contacts with magazines with influencers with celebrities so I was able to slowly start putting the message out there and in those few years, I ended up, well, we ended up working with Chanel, uh, L'Occitane, Harvey Nichols. So we were, I think we still are one of the only brands in the world to have worked with these global beauty giants, which is wonderful. But more importantly, we worked with, I think it was like now over a thousand women. So we're talking huge amount of people and we have the experience and the understanding in terms of all these different faces. Um, and I'm talking structure of the face, age, um, lifestyle. So it's also important to understand that it's not the same for everybody. So in that sense, um, not a lot of people have that much experience with all these different people. And um, what's also important in this, and I'm going to get into that later in terms of the method, is the emotional side of it. So in module one, we actually learn a lot about reading facial posture and trying to understand what kind of emotional life that person has. Um, and based on that, trying to help them. Okay. So it's much more than just doing you know the cheek slap or the cheek builder it's much much more than that like you're really doing something with meaning and people actually will really appreciate you um of course there is some nutters out there which is fine that you get that in every business but most people are actually really really grateful um, I'm going to share one more just before and after so you guys know it's not just me. Um, <laughs> there's other people that have had these transformations. So this is my lovely client, Gina. Sorry, Genia. <laughs> and uh, why, why is the, hold on. Yeah, so she is around 45. Hope you guys can see that. Are you seeing me or are you seeing the screen? Anyone? Yes. The screen? Okay. Seeing you. Okay. We're seeing you. Oh, you see me. Oh, that's not good. Hold on. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Okay, so this is my client, Jenya. I hope you can see her now. Yeah. So she was a so like a really disciplined client. So she got these results in literally two months. Um, the light is slightly different on the picture. I want to say that before I continue because I don't want you guys to think I'm making stuff up. Um, the light is a little bit different. That's why her skin color is different. But you could see on her jawline like how much it has lifted. Her eyes have opened up. Um, she has less tension in her forehead and this she achieved with two to three sessions. Well, one session a week with me, and then she did two sessions at home 
for about 20 minutes. And we did uh, face exercises, self-applied face massage. And she also used the cups and the gua sha. So she really got um, some wonderful results. So I just thought I would share that as well, just for you guys to be able to reference in your mind, kind of like what people can achieve. Um, it's also important, and this is something that I speak about in the course, is really like managing expectations because people are, you know, they want things overnight. I mean, I live in Dubai, so I know how, how they are. And you really need to explain to them, if you want results, you need to treat it as a workout. Like you wouldn't expect to go to the gym once or twice and come out looking like, you know, I don't know, Jessica Simpson, like it doesn't happen. So it's the same thing with the face. Um, so just managing expectations is really important. Um, so at the moment, I just, when people ask me when it, why would somebody become a face yoga teacher? Like what are the benefits and what are the things that really make it meaningful? So for me, the most important thing and the way that I do anything in my life is that I really need it to be something that has meaning and that will change somebody for the better. So with face yoga, you are literally doing that. You're giving other people power. You're teaching them something that they're gonna have for life. So this is, this is a, a technique, this is a method that they can pass on to their children, that they can teach their daughters and, and you know their sons even how to, treat themselves like it's I really believe that it's so important um that is for me one of the key reasons that I <laughs> suffered a few years <laughs> when nobody understood what it was and like really continued with it because I really believed in it um the second thing which I think a lot of you are actually mothers I always said oh my god when I become a mother how am I going to take care of myself like how is this going to happen I'm going to have to work and then I'm going to have to take care of my child and then I have to have my husband and my... what I love about face yoga is that literally as you work you're taking care of your skin so you kind of kill two birds with one stone so when you're working out with a client you're working out for yourself as well um which I think is great so having a job that requires you to take care of yourself is very rare so it's only in in yoga and face yoga and, and things like that so if you're not a yoga teacher already this is a great way to kind of bring that and I was like when I decided to do I was like I can't think of a better profession for me is helping others take care of themselves while I take care of myself at the same time um, so that I found really really nice um, and the flexibility like we're dealing with the face. So <laughs> you could be in front of your laptop, in front of your phone, literally doing it from anywhere. And this is what happened to me in COVID. So I don't know if you guys know, but I was actually stuck on an island. I'm from the island, but I did not want to be there. Um, I was stuck there for a year with my whole business in Dubai, completely panicking. Um, and I was able to shift everything virtually um, and we're actually doing better now than we were before so although and I trust me I'm not a tech savvy person whatsoever but with a little patience and a lot of help I managed to get my head around things so if you're kind of worried about the tech side 99% of professions you need to be at least a little bit tech savvy. So if you learn these things through face yoga, you can even use it for other things as well. That's just the way the world is going. So, you know, meditate, make peace with technology, <laughs> make it your best friend because it really can change your life once you get um, savvy with it. Um, yeah, and I just think just living life on your own terms, like being able to be your own boss, being able to take your days off, like I'm really grateful that I can be with my son as much as I want and I can get work done when he sleeps, I can get work done uh, at night when he goes to bed, uh, like you can organize your life a little bit better when you have a job that is so flexible. And 
I know you might think, oh my God, but you know, there now I'm seeing that there is a lot of face yoga teachers. And that's probably because you're following the hashtag and it seems like it's the only thing that's happening on earth. The same thing, like if you follow like a makeup artist, you're like, everyone is a makeup artist, but it's actually not the case. Um, now, I feel like now, and this is the reason that we did start the teacher training at this time, is that I felt that there was enough awareness about it that not everyone had to go through what I went through and what the other, you know, kind of, I would say pioneers of, of the method went through because you have awareness. Like most people now, not most, but much more uh, people know what face muscles are like they know that they exist when I started they didn't even know what it was um and I really believe that because there are others it creates more demand because there's more awareness but it still didn't get to the point where like every Tom Dick and Harry is doing it you know even though it may seem like that like I said if you're following the hashtag because sometimes I'm like oh my god like is everyone just sitting at home and doing face massages but it's not the case um and there are certain markets like America and Canada and even the Middle East that there's still so much potential. And you can grow this from starting with virtual group classes to having your own tools to so many different things. Like even now we have um, a couple of teachers, like a teacher in Kuwait, who's actually going to bring our training there because nothing like that was ever done there. So there's also other opportunities to work with us to kind of spread it um, around the world as well. That's just one example. And then there's another teacher that she's an Arabic speaker. So we actually got her a job in Dubai. So she'll be flying in. So I'm really excited just to like have more people involved in this and give them these opportunities as well. Um, which I think, you know, even I think Azra, you're in South Africa. Like, I don't think anyone is actually doing it there. Like I haven't, yeah. So this is great for you, you know? Um, to kind of be one of the first. Okay, and then the third thing that people always tell me, oh, Dora, but like, I'm not cute enough. I, first of all, I've seen all of you, so I think you're all cute enough. And I swear to God, whenever I post pictures or videos where I look like crap and I show people, this is what you need to do, that is when I get the most engagement because people can relate to you. Obviously, if I see like a supermodel, like Naomi Campbell doing face massage, I'm not exactly going to be like, oh, this is for me. <laughs> like, let me go and do this. Like, no, I want to see someone who had a real story. Okay. Who has like a real before and after a normal human being, nothing too special about them. And I swear to God, like, these are the people that get the most traction, like, like Huda, Huda Beauty. She's She's cute and I love her, but she's not like a model, but people can just relate to her so much, especially in the Middle East, because a lot of people look like her. So it's just like, think about it like that. Like, don't think that you have to have perfect skin and a perfect face. Um, oh, and of course, no time. Everyone, but I don't have time. Look, if Emma and I can do it, <laughs> if Gina can do it, we have toddlers. I don't have much help. My husband's out of the out of town six months a year. Like if I can do it, if I can organize myself, you can do it. You know, I always say that because it's just a matter of priorities. Like if you really want to do it, you will find the time. Just take it slow and have some patience um, and get yourself out there as much as you can. You don't have to be on every single platform on earth but find one that works for you. It could be just YouTube, it could be just Pinterest, it could be just Instagram, doesn't matter. Just find somewhere where you can really get creative and fun and combine it with your other skills. So I have a lot of people who are, who are selling this um, to corporations, like a corporate wellness thing. And I have psychologists who are doing it with their sessions, like they're actually pairing it up. So like, there's millions of different ways that you can incorporate face yoga. And I think that it's going to be a really key skill to have in the holistic wellness um, industry and beauty as well. Like it's gonna be really important very soon. Um, what else did I wanna say? So I think you guys can kind of like figure out by this time that if that you want to 
help people in a holistic way, get them empowered, um, teach these wonderful techniques while you're taking care of yourself. Like this is definitely level one and possibly level two is definitely for you because you can resonate with this and you'll do amazing. Um, just to go over the actual content, what's in the course. Um, so let me just give you a quick sneak peek of our manual. Oh, okay, one second guys, just so you get the idea of how it looks. So here we are. Okay, so this is a part of module one, and this is what your face muscle cheat sheet, cheat sheet, cheat sheet looks like. Okay, so you can print this out, really learn all the different muscles on the face. You don't have to know them by heart, but it's really good to be able to visualize them um, and kind of maybe have them up on your wall, and also a really good thing to share with your clients so that they can memorize or just have a vision of the muscles as well. Um, and then I'll just give you a peek of Emma's, uh, one second. So I'm just gonna show you the facial acupressure manual. So it's super clear um, how to sequence it because we have our own sequence. So you'll be, you'll know exactly what you need to do. And what's also really great is that you get a video with every single module. So if you ever forget what you need to do, I know that sometimes with text, it's a little bit difficult. Um, you have lifetime access to the, to the videos. Also, the whole course is on a platform called Kajabi, which is like a better version of Teachable. So it's so easy to navigate. Um, and you can download the material, you can, or you can just keep accessing it, it's up to you. But we've had really good uh, feedback about it so far, so I hope that it will be the same for you guys. So module one basically is all about the anatomy of the face, the different muscles, structure, but it is also about confidence. So working on your, your confidence and the confidence of your client. We also learn a lot about facial posture. So basically, I actually just did a live about this, but all the different types of face postures. So we have the sad face, grumpy face and so on. So kind of diagnosing it and then giving certain techniques to help deal with, with those postures and just becoming more aware about it. Um, it is also the understanding of pro-aging and the full understanding of our method. So all the different kind of points that you need to cover in your sessions, um, really the importance of mental health, which I already spoke about. So just bringing attention to things that are already fabulous about your client because they're not all bad, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and the reason that I included this in the beginning, like when I was structuring the sessions was because I had really become fed up. Like I would go to the salon, I would go in feeling good and I'll come out feeling worse because I just go do my hair and they'll be like, oh, you have bad skin, like buy this. And it was just this like ongoing kind of criticism. And I just stopped going. And it was like one of my favorite things to like get my nails done. So I always, I put that in, like it has to be the first thing that you do in every session. Um, what else is in, that is just a little summary of module one. Module one is pre-recorded. So it's not live because it's mostly theory um, and you can study this in your own time. Then module two is live. And module two is really important because it covers the most potent facial exercises. So it is big facial muscles or a facial exercise for the big muscles and the small muscles. So we have about 13 to cover in level one and then a bunch more in level two. Um, I've really chosen for level one, the like the basic, but really potent exercises. So if you are just starting out or your client is a beginner, they're really not that difficult to learn and they're very effective because you want to give them in the beginning, the ones that will really motivate them. So when they start seeing a difference, like especially 
with the cheek exercises, you pretty much see a difference quite quickly. So when they see that, they'll be like, oh, okay, I, I, want, I want to know more, <laughs> you know? Um, then module three is now pre-recorded. It's not live anymore. And this is the facial acupressure and the self-applied face massage. So when something, so when the modules are pre-recorded like module one and three, you still get office hours with me. So you can come live with me at a certain time and I'll answer all your questions and I can even do some of the massages with you. So that is also really good because you don't have to rely just on the video. I will still be there to support you. Um, then we have module four, <laughs> which is your presentation. So a few of you were worried about them. Honestly, I think Gina and Kathy can confirm that it was not like an intimidating kind of presentation. It was more just like a fun thing to just get you creative. So everyone gets a case study of a certain person um, and you try to figure out what would be like the best course of treatment for them and how you would approach this person and how you would present yourself. So it's more like a training for you to understand all the different aspects and concepts that you would wanna include when working with a client, okay? So it's not like you're gonna be graded or anything. It's, it's just an, an important activity to get your brain thinking about how you would take the next step, okay? Um, and then you have the bonus modules. So a lot of the teachers love those because it featured um, the master trainer from L'Occitane. And she actually shared her holistic beauty experience and all of um, her tips and tricks, which I think is not only great for you, but it is a bit of a nod to the whole industry that L'Occitan is in our teacher training because it means that they're acknowledging this and that this is something that's gonna grow. So I think that even like these brands will start hiring experts um, and working with them. So I think that is just, something to consider. And then we have the lovely Shirley Conlon who's gonna be talking about oils. So she has a brand that does like organic serums and oils. And she's gonna to explain to you how to figure out which oils to use for different skin types, which is really important. And it's a question that I get all the time. So I really wanted to kind of include that for you so that you're knowledgeable and you know how to answer these questions. Um, and this time around, hopefully, we're gonna have our level one teachers uh, teaching us, us a surprise little workshop as well. So all of them have other skills as well. And I wanted to support them and get them on the level one May training too. So I will update you guys on that very soon. So you'll know what to expect there as well. So that's your module five, which is like more of a bonus module. Um, what else did I want to tell you? So I'm just going to share really quickly the early bird stuff, of course, which I didn't download. Hold on. I always forget one thing. It's very annoying. Uh, da, 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 da. One second. Okay, here it is. So this is just because everybody who joined today, I'm just going to reopen the early bird for you guys. And I want to make sure that I share all the information with you right now. Okay, here we go. So basically, if you're an early bird, meaning if you purchase within the next 48 hours, you are getting the full training at 32% off. So you're paying 510, but you're actually getting over 970 plus in value. So you get access to a face yoga workshop, a virtual one, which is worth $27. And if you are within the first three who purchase to like from today for the next 48 hours, I will be giving you a one-on-one -on -one training with me, which is more business oriented. So how to set everything up, which platform works for you, where to kind of promote yourself and how to stand out. Um, so that is what you can get by joining today. I'll share this with you guys once we're done as well. And for, do you want me to tell you a little bit about level two as well? Yeah. Okay. So level two is happening in August. We're starting the first week of August. 
Let me just open it up. So level two is a more in-depth course, meaning you're gonna get into the co concepts much more deeply um, and you're gonna have much more of an understanding. So module one is gonna be anatomy, but we're also gonna get into the skin much more deeply, um, all the different layers, like the purposes, um, how the skin ages and why it ages and how to uh, understand the different types of skin aging as well. So really, really important module. Um, you're also gonna learn much more about the lymphatic system. So basically how the lymphatic system works and why it's so important for the face, okay? And how to drain out the lymphatic system of the face as well. Um, we're also gonna understand much more about expressions. So when we make certain expressions, which muscles are moving around? So this is also really important to understand. Um, module two is face exercises continued. So this is gonna be like, I think we're doing over 20, 25 face exercises for, the, for level two. And um, they're gonna be for big muscle groups, but also for the small muscle groups, which were, was much more limited in level one. So level two will really share a lot more about um, small muscles. Then you have module three, which is facial acupressure with Emma, but actually much, much deeper. And she's also gonna show you how you can do this on somebody else. Um, again, it's not like you're becoming a, uh, an expert in facial acupressure, but you get the basics. So you can start to incorporate this. And she's also gonna be discussing the Chinese face mapping. So this is a super interesting topic. And it's basically how the different areas of the face are connected to our organs. Um, so understanding that will also really help in understanding your client as a whole. Um, module four is my <laughs> module. So here I'm actually teaching you how to administer a face massage. So here you will actually learn how to do this to somebody else. So really great addition, like for you, Gina, when you finish with your um, face yoga client and give them a nice massage, like fully relax them. I know that Emma does that as well. And people absolutely love it because it's just like a full treatment, you know, can even apply a little mask after and it's just wonderful. Um, and this will also feature the gua sha and the jade roller and the glow roller. So you'll learn how to do this. Um, module five is sequencing. So understanding how to sequence your session for different types of people, different types of facial structures and so on, and also the student presentations. And then finally, module six is a bonus module and it's all about business. And it has a bit of astrology in it because, um, well, astrology is something that is close to home for me because this is my mother's profession. And in the beginning, when she started doing this, I was so skeptical, but there is something there. Um, and it's just good to know a little bit about like the kind of energy of people and which elements are more predominant in their charts uh, things like that and so she's going to do a little a little bit of a, a course on how astrology and beauty are actually related in this case so that should be really interesting but more importantly there will be a social media one-on-one -on -one workshop there will also be a workshop about money <laughs> so dealing with your finances, which, you know, we all need a little, uh, a little lecture in that. I mean, I, I still do. Um, and then nutrition for skin, also very important. So basically advising your clients on, on what kind of uh, foods to eat, what to avoid. Obviously you're not a nutritionist, but just sharing your knowledge. Um, and these will be actually, I will not be doing these. This will be by experts um in in their field so really knowledgeable people like i'm not going to pretend i'm a nutritionist or something but you know what i mean <laughs> um so that's your level two if you are interested in level one and level two already by now then please um email me separately and in may we're we're actually giving a pretty good 
discount on the whole thing. So because it's our first level two, so we can definitely, um, we'll share how we can support you as well. And um, level two, you can pay actually level one and two, you could do it in installments. So um, we can definitely help you guys out. Um, because yeah, we would love, love, love to have you, even if it's, you know, just for level one and you do level two at a later date, that's also perfect. But I hope I kind of delivered everything clearly for you guys. Um, and you just have like a really clear idea of both courses, of your teachers, of your colleagues. Um, and I'm just gonna hang out for a bit if you have any questions and I'll share the link to the training so you can read all about it as well. I'll just put it in the chat. There you go, so the link, so you can have a look at all that um, and frequently asked questions. I'll also, this webinar was recorded, so I'll just send it to everybody if anyone wants to rewatch. Let me just say hi to everyone who joined. So hi, Roberta, hello. Hello, Shilpa, Emma, Azra. Hello. Okay, that's, I'm not seeing anymore. Okay, perfect. So let me know if anyone has anything to say or any questions or. No? Okay. Okay, guys, well then I'm gonna let you go on with your evening and um, hopefully I'll see you guys online or at one of the trainings. Um, but yeah, thank you for your time and thank you Emma and Gina and Kathy for, for your time as well. All right, bye everyone. <laughs> bye. Thanks guys, bye. Hi, thank you. Thank you.